I would like to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim, pushing this word out across the four corners of the world. Just another GMS and transit lesson, all through the spirit, the power, and the vibration of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Just a quick lesson in the spirit going into about staying in your own lane because within this league of ours you see what's going on within the world of israel concerning these affiliate camps and not all of them but just particular guys that have that mindset they want to just be in other people's businesses like other camps businesses meddling with affairs that really doesn't concern you just straight up being a busybody you think about that in the spirit, that's really an attribute or a characteristic of a woman. That's an effeminate spirit. And the scriptures tells us within 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, how the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. And once you read on down throughout that chapter, one of those characteristics is effeminate. So that's really not the type of mindset, nor the example or vibration we supposed to be in or following. Because you do have people that look at our videos and they really study our conduct through the spirit. So therefore, that's not the type of example or examples to be showcasing unto the flock. And our best example through the spirit is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Because when he walked this earth 2,000 plus years ago, he wasn't in that mindset of trying to be the man unto the nation of Israel and really unto the world. Because he knew through the spirit it wasn't his time to do that. When you read throughout different chapters that I'm about my father's business, I came to do my father's will, which is the heavenly father Yahweh's will. So Yahweh shot knew through the spirit it wasn't time for him to be the man. He had a particular purpose to fulfill. So how much more of us being those ambassadors of Yahweh shot and knowing that we are under our Lord, our master Yahweh shot. So again, that's not a good example to display unto the flock. And that takes me right to 1 Peter 2 and 21. For even here unto were ye called, because Yahweh Shah also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So applying Yahweh Shah throughout different scenarios and events that come into our lives, just ask yourself through the spirit what will Yahweh Shah do in this situation and by applying Yahweh Shah that is the ultimate way of applying wisdom and the scriptures tells us within Colossians walking wisdom toward them that are without and you watched the movie Paid in Full and you had that scene where Rico and Ace that was within the club and Rico who was played by the rapper Kenra he told Ace who was played by this actor by the name of Wood Harris. So Rico told him, half of these niggas want to be the man just cause. And beforehand, Ace was putting Rico on game. Like saying, you don't have to be all out there in the open, being out there on front street. You know, just stay low key, stay under the radar. And when Jake get a little taste of some type of preeminence, they want to broadcast it unto the whole world. And when you watch that movie, Paid in Full, that's really the spirit Rico was in. He had to have everything out there on Front Street and not just really stay in his own lane. However, he did make a good point about half of these niggas want to be the man just cause. And that can be applied with this thing of ours. When Jay come out of the world and they apply that same worldly behavior or spirit within this thing of ours, that can contaminate sincere brothers and sisters especially if they are not seasoned through the spirit. And that type of mindset or vibration is really a product of black culture, which means that you are cultivating or developing in darkness, wickedness. You're voided of light, which is really you're voided of Yahweh Shah if you're in that type of mindset. 
and wanting to beat a man. And just know where we're in within this captivity. Why do you want to be the man? The scriptures calls us unprofitable servants. And also, this is not our rest. So therefore, why seek that type of preeminence when our Lord and Savior haven't received this preeminence yet? So the best mindset to have and the best way to move is just stay in your own lane. Yes, of course you have demons come into that world as well, but just stand in your lane and not trying to be the man just cause, you know, that really takes you a long way through life. And especially within this thing of ours, through the spirit. Which is a great way to display humility unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So going back right here, we just read how it stated Yahweh Shai is that perfect example because he's the author and finisher of our faith. And we're supposed to follow his steps. So when Yahweh Shai walked this earth, like look what type of examples he did for the disciples. He washed their feet. And here it is, this type of man, the only begotten son, which means he's the only spirit that the heavenly father Yahweh created. And he still had that mindset of servitude unto his brothers, which were the disciples. If that's not a great example to follow, then I don't know what to say. So half these niggas want to be the man just cause. You know, Jake probably didn't have no type of play or what they say nowadays, motion coming up. So you seeking for that type of preeminence or glory within this thing of ours, which is very off. And that's really a corner mindset to be applying. So again, by following Yahweh Shah's steps, let's see what type of mindset that he was in when our people were trying to force him to be king. And that takes me right to John 6 and 14. Then those men, when they have seen the miracle that Yahweh Shah did, said, this is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. When Yahweh Shah therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. So Yahweh Shah perceived through the spirit, and he already knew, of course, that it wasn't his time to have that preeminence within that time frame. So what did he do? He fleed away from that madness. He definitely wasn't in that mindset of being the man just cause. So fast forward to nowadays, how much more are we as his ambassadors supposed to be within that mindset nowadays? And that takes me right to 1 Timothy 3 and 5. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, and that own house also can go into like ruling yourself, like your body, ruling your spirit. How should he take care of the church of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai? Verse 6, not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. So having that leadership authority type of role, and if you're not in the right mindset or spirit, that can come with some crazy type of demons. And one of them being pride. And as we know within Proverbs, the sixth chapter, that's one of the six things that the heavenly father Yahweh hates. He look at as abominable. So that's not the type of mindset nor type of vibration we're supposed to be showcasing unto the flock. I'm trying to be the man just cause. And I came across a quote, which is like an African proverb. And I believe through the spirit, this was like a West African proverb, which was Jake. And it states, a man who pays respect to the great paves his own way for greatness. So a person blessed with that spirit of humility they're not going to seek that type of glory at this very moment. They will rather wait until their Lord and Savior receives his glory. And Aparathazot, we will receive ours being those joint heirs unto Yahweh Shai. And a great example I can see that fit this quote, John the Baptist. When you read Matthew the third chapter, he stated that he that coming after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. And he was referencing to Yahweh Shai. So John the Baptist, he knew his particular role and the purpose that he was going to fulfill. He wasn't trying to seek preeminence or trying to be the man just cause. He knew his particular, which was a heavy spiritual role of being a forerunner or publicizing unto the nation of Israel of Yahweh Shai. 
So this thing of ours is all about glorifying Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and not ourselves. And that takes me right to Ecclesiasticus, the seventh chapter within the GNT. And I'm going to start at the fourth verse. It says, Don't ask the Lord for a place of honor or ask the king for an important position. Don't try to convince the Lord that you are righteous or make a show of your wisdom before the king. Don't set your heart on being a judge unless you have the strength of character it takes to put an end to injustice. And being into that type of leadership role or authoritative position, that comes with a whole different level or force field of demons. Like high ranking type demons. If you let yourself be influenced by someone in a position of power, your integrity will be damaged. Don't commit any crime against the general public and don't disgrace yourself among your town's people. So if you take anything from this lesson through the spirit, just stay in your own lane. It's less traffic there. When Yahweh Shah receives his preeminence, his glory, his fame, Abarathazah, we as his hopeful elect, being those joint heirs, will receive ours as well. Because right now, it's not time. And through the spirit, I'm fine with that. The scripture says within limitations, blesses the man that hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. So just apply that type of mindset and pray to have that mindset, especially within these critical times that we are in and coming to. So I brought this out with that. Hopefully you all edify, you all stay strong, keep pushing forward. Shalom. Thank you.